E. And you also have uh, a sigma, a sigma times uh, the sum. This optimization problem um, penalizes uh, both positive and negative values so H I likes. It may be hard to converge if sigma is too large. So here we um, solve a sequence of unconstrained uh, optimization problems using the optimal solution of each subproblem problem as the initial solution of the next one. So basically what we do is we select a sequence of sigma, let's call it sigma k, uh, with sigma uh, approaching infinity, and find h star of sigma k as a function of sigma k. That maxim, I'm sorry, that minimizes um, the uh, objective function. And stop if um, hi of h star is sufficiently small for all i. So we talked about uh, equality constraints, and now we talk about inequality constraints. So let's say you have um, the uh, optimization problem, uh, minimize f of x with um, uh, subject to a number of um, inequality constraints g i of x and g i of x and less than or equal to zero, and i belong to um, capital I. Um, so we need to uh, penalize uh, uh, positive values of gi of x. Um, we can either use uh, the first form or the second form of the uh, unconstrained automation problem. Uh, with the first form, we have uh, square, we have square of uh, max of gi of x and zero. And with the second form, we don't have a square. So basically, um, if gi of x is less than or equal to zero, then um, max of gi of x and zero is actually equal to zero. And if um, gi of x is uh, greater than zero, then uh, that uh, would uh, penalize uh, the uh, uh, positive values of uh, GI of X. Now we talk about the interior penalty approach. Uh, with the approach, the uh, function penalized if it tries to leave the feasible region of the problem. So um, you know, to start, we actually have to start searching for the optimal solution within the feasible region. The interior penalty approach can be pursued by introducing a suitable barrier function. An example is this. So the barrier function goes to infinity when x tends to the boundary of the feasible region from inside. And the uh, optimization problem, unconstrained optimization problem, minimization of f of x plus sigma times b of x is solved by solved for uh, decreasing values of sigma until uh, the second term, sigma times b of x is small enough. An example is this, minimize x minus 1.5 squared plus 
y minus uh, 0.5 squared uh, subject to x and y uh, less than 1, less than or equal to 1. So the interior penalty function can be uh, formed uh, with the first, uh, with the objective function. And then um, the barrier functions for the first and uh, the second constraint. And as x um, approaches uh, near 1, then uh, the costs uh, for this term increase. And similarly, uh, the same thing happens for the second. And when uh, x uh, is uh, be, uh, equal to 1 or y uh, becomes uh, 1, then um, the cost function uh, now uh, becomes uh, infinity.